everyone, this is Nora, your immigration consultant once again. I would like to discuss about the work permit holders here in Canada and their study permit. Now, this work permit holders doesn't need a study permit to study here in Canada. This modification has allowed work permit holders to work and pursue schools without limitations. After graduation, individuals can be eligible for quick immigration routes. But it's important to remember a few things. Work permit holders must continue to work full-time, at least 30 hours a week, in order for them to fulfill their principal reason for being here in Canada. Additionally, their job while enrolled in school will not qualify for the Canadian Experience class when applying for immigration. Despite the freedom, it is advisable to carefully weigh the benefits and drawbacks before making decisions on future plans in Canada. Now let's discuss why the immigration did this. Well, temporary foreign workers are a valuable part of Canada's economy who continue to contribute to Canada's eco economic recovery post-COVID pandemic. The department wants to support these individuals by providing opportunities and more flexibility to study in order to upgrade their skills, credentials, or licensing. This could help temporary foreign workers gain employment in higher skilled and higher paid work, fill jobs in essential occupations such as healthcare, and increase their chances of qualifying for permanent residence program in the future. As usual, there's always a eligibility criteria. Foreign nationals eligible under this public policy are subject to all other applicable eligibility and admissibility requirements not exempted this or another public policy. This policy will come into effect on June 27, 2023 and will expire on June 27, 2026. The public policy may be revoked at any time without prior notice. So, if you have planned to upgrade yourselves, guys, you better enroll right now because it might gonna say that it's until June 27, 2026, but it says also that this is a public policy and it's temporary, so it can be revoked at any time. For every foreign national in Canada, in order for you to improve yourselves, I strongly recommend for you to upgrade. I know it is challenging and expensive to upgrade while you are under work permit. You need to use your credit card or savings or even your emergency funds to pursue this big plan. But hey, imagine, if you upgraded, you don't need to receive a minimum salary to pursue that. You don't need to work for two to three jobs, but you can only work for one full-time work and receive better salaries. Of course, when you have a better salary and reflects on your notice of assessment, you will have more opportunities to be able to buy your own house someday or perhaps sooner than later. We came here in Canada with so many plans and dreams. We did not come here to be the tail, but we come here with big dreams for yourself and for your family back home. So, the only way is to upgrade. There is no magic to that. There's always a sacrifice and there's always a challenge. So if you have any clarification about this, please feel free to connect with me by messaging me on my cell phone 647-996-2273 or follow me here for any updates. All the best everyone and God bless.